Coming up on Around Kern County, our Buena Vista Aquatic Recreational Area is getting some exciting upgrades. We're sharing details on the grant funding making this all possible. And we're honoring behavioral health and recovery services, upcoming awareness campaigns, how you can get involved and access their important resources. When Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. During this week's board meeting, supervisors proclaimed September as National Suicide Prevention Month, as well as Recovery Month here in Kern County. With September right around the corner, Behavioral Health and Recovery Services wants residents to know they are not alone. BHRS is the first county department in the state to implement zero suicide in their system of care to reach the goal of making suicide a never event. BHRS will also be hosting a series of workshops to raise awareness about this important topic to ensure everyone in our community knows how to access their extensive resources. On the hotline, we're also doing 988, which is the new name for hope in this county. 988 is for anybody. You don't have to have a mental illness. You don't have to have a substance use disorder. You're having a bad day, call us. Someone is there 24 seven. We are here to help. BHRS will also be advocating for evidence-based treatment and recovery practices in honor of their upcoming recovery month. For more information about these important services, please visit kernbhrs.org. Also during this week's board meeting, supervisors appointed a new director of Kern County Public Works. Meet Samuel Lux, who is replacing Craig Pope, who recently retired after 40 years of service to Kern County. Mr. Lux has two Bachelor of Science degrees in both accounting and civil engineering. He is also a licensed civil engineer. Mr. Lux has worked for Kern County since 2011 and has served as the Assistant Director of Public Works for the last four years and also has been the Interim Director of Public Works since April of this year. We'd like to congratulate Mr. Lux on his appointment as Public Works' new Director. We're sharing some exciting news for our outdoor enthusiasts. Kern County has been awarded $2.7 million in Proposition 68 funding from California State Parks for the improvement project at Buena Vista Aquatic Recreational Area. Only 25 communities in the state received funding during this allocation, and we are so proud to be one of them. I think it's great for us to finally be able to give back, add some amenities and make some improvements, um, not only just our parks within our county of like pocket parks, but now our regional parks as well. Come to Kern County, come see what we have to offer. Buena Vista Lake is amazing, it's beautiful. Uh, the water is warm during the summer. Um, there's plenty of activities. Improvements include a new splash pad, shaded picnic pavilion, dog park, extension of the existing paved multi-use trail, four floating boat docks, shoreline erosion control, and drought tolerant trees with a smart irrigation system. These improvements were created from community input and will expand upon the existing playground, basketball court, horseshoe pit, and sand volleyball courts. Kern County Public Works is celebrating the completion of pedestrian path improvements on Rosamond Boulevard and 20th Street in Rosamond. Chairman of the Board and 2nd District Supervisor Zach Scribner, along with Kern County's Public Works Director Sam Lux, held a ribbon cutting to celebrate the completion of this exciting project. Public Works added nearly one mile of pathway and sidewalk improvements to this area as part of his Safe Routes to School project due to this location's proximity to Rosamond Elementary School. All upgrades include new sidewalks, pedestrian paths, ADA curb ramps, and higher visibility crosswalks to ensure a safe ADA accessible environment for Rosamond Elementary School students and residents. Kern County leaders are coming to an area near you. Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop, Chief Operations Officer Jim Zervis, Sheriff Donnie Youngblood, District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, and Fire Chief Aaron Duncan 
are hosting a series of educational workshops throughout Kern County to discuss Measure K. Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure. If enacted, this would establish a one cent locally dedicated and controlled sales tax in unincorporated Kern to address community priorities such as public safety, attracting jobs and industries, and helping to address mental health and addiction challenges. County leaders will be in Mojave on Monday, August 29th, and the Fort City Tapped Heights South Tapped area on Thursday, September 1st. Unincorporated residents will consider this measure on the November 8th, 2022 ballot. For more information, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. We're ending today in honor of fallen Kern County Sheriff's Office K-9 Hannes, who died in the line of duty last week. During your service, you truly were the definition of a man's best friend. You will be sorely missed by your community, your partners in law enforcement, and your family at home. Rest easy, buddy. We've got it from here. The K-19, King 4, and Hannes are 10-7 for the final time. End of watch, August 18th, 2022. Hannes served the Sheriff's Office since March of 2021 when he was assigned to his handler, Deputy Robert Fisher. Our hearts are heavy as we mourn the loss of this brave canine and stand in support of Deputy Fisher as he faces this devastating loss. We'll close this week's show with a few words from a letter Deputy Fisher wrote to Hannes. Each day you greeted me with a smile, a wagging tail, and an eagerness to work. For the last year and a half, you were my best friend and partner. Due to your dedication and drive, the citizens of this county could rest easier knowing you were on watch. Rest in peace, Hannes. End of watch, August 18th, 2022. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.